All right. So it says we're going to divide x to the fourth minus 5x squared minus 17x minus 12 by x plus 3. Now, first of all, why would we ever want to do this? No one. Remember, we're trying to solve expressions, right? The way we do that is by factoring. What is factoring? What do we do when we're really factoring? Chris, R, what, when we factor something, what are we really doing with it? You're taking out things that multiply, right? So if I divide something into it, I am taking out a piece, right? So that's where we're going with this. That's why you have to learn how to do this well. And for x to the fourth in particular, you don't have another tool. This is it. This is the you got one tool in the toolkit. That's it. So I'm going to start doing this and go by x to the plus 3. So I'm going to write it just like we did long division over there. Now, before I move on, I'm going to put x to the 4, and then I'm going to put plus 0x to the 3rd. I'm going to pause there. Everybody see what I just did there? Why did I do that? Oh, because you need it. Right, because what if this had, had a 0 in it over here? What is that, a 0 over here? Will we just get rid of zero and make it 145? No, no. no, you can't do that, right? So same thing goes here. You have to have spots. So then uh, minus 5x squared minus 17x minus 12. Is there with me so far? All right. Now, the process here is easy as long as you don't try to go too fast. So when we were doing the problem over here, we asked the question. We said, how many... 13s to the take inside of 17. This is the exact same problem here. What times x gives me x to the fourth? Don't say. What times x gives me x to the fourth? x to the third. So I'm going to put an x to the third right there. Just that hard. Um, well, right now, yes, but I'm gonna, I have to put it back in, right? Then the next step we did over here is that we took the 1. Once we found 1 was our number, we did 1 times 13, and we subtracted it from what we started with to take that out. We did the same thing here. x cubed times x plus 3. What's x cubed times x? Don't say. x to the 4. What's x cubed times 3? 3x cubed. Now, this is the step I'm most likely taking points away on. Because what do we do next? We subtract it. And this is the one you're going to forget. So before you do anything else, what I recommend you do is you just change all the signs. You go, that's a negative, that's a negative, put a line underneath. You're subtracting it. I find if students put a minus out in front here, they forget it. I find if they don't do it right away, they add. Subtract, just change, change. Done. x squared minus 4x squared should always give us 0. That should go away, right? 3, 0x cubed plus negative 3x cubed is negative 3x cubed. What do we do next? We bring down the next one. Wait, why do you have an x cubed on the top again already? That's that's what we're multiplying by this to get this part that we're taking out. Just like when we found, we found the 100 over there. We're putting in the 100. Oh, okay. Now we're going to pair the next piece. So, that's what we do. We just repeat it over and over again until we get bored. So, Helen, here we go. Helen. Ready, Helen? What times x gives me negative 3x squared? Cube, sorry. Negative. No, I need a 3. Negative 3x squared. Beautifully done. Negative 3x squared times x is negative 3x cubed. Is it a 3? Yeah. That's a 5. Okay. Negative 3x squared times 3 is negative 3x squared times 3 is negative 9x squared. Now, 
before I do anything, what am I going to do? Change the signs before I forget. I'm subtracting a negative number. That means add. That's why I change the signs right away. Don't think about it. Just do it. Do yourself a favor. Uh, this goes to zero. Negative 5x squared plus 9x squared is 4x squared. Bring down the next number. Wait. I understand we got the 5x squared, but where did you get the negative 3x? The, the red one. This one? Yeah. I subtracted. And you keep that? Yeah. Just like we keep it over there. When I subtract it off the 13, I got a 4 here. Do I keep the 4? Yeah, because yeah, left over. I haven't yet dealt with that. I haven't made the numbers make that go away yet. Okay. Okay? All right, next one. Who's got the next one? Okay. You got it. Dulce, give me the next one. What? Times x can be 4x squared. 4x. Well done. 4x times x is 4x squared, which is what you just figured out in your head backwards. Now I just want you to do 4. 4x times 3 is 12x. And before I do anything, change the sides. Negative 17 minus 12 is? <laughs> Negative 29. It's okay, Dulce. I'll be your banker later on. I'll take care of all your finances. Don't worry about those negatives. Bring down the negative 12. Now what? Negative 29, well done. Negative 29 times x is? Negative 29, x. Ew. Yeah. Can go for calculate, good call. Negative 87. Before I do that, know what I do? Change sides. I get 75. Hold on. Are we up here? What times x gives me 75? Uh, nothing. So it's a remainder. It's like 75 remainder. Remainder. So write 75 over x plus 3. No, you may not. That would be very wrong. <laughs> That's what they teach us. If you did it, maybe a million. <laughs> no, what? still trying to get out of a hole. He's got like negative 973,000. Because he had a million off on his first test. It's trouble. R in our workspace on the test is the answer. Well, I don't care in workspace. You're fine. I absolutely don't have a problem with that at all. That's how we're going to do it. And we're going to talk about it, but that's how you get with it. Just make sure your fraction up here is a beautiful thing. Yes, ma'am. That's what I did. That's why I have x to the third. Oh, because just because we generally line up these cubes, it turns out it doesn't matter. That's just holdover from these days. The decimal point. It doesn't matter. If you if you put it right here, you get the same answer, right? You have x cubed, you just have negative three x squared, you just have all the same things. Yeah. We just tend to line up our cubes with cubes and square the squares x with x and it doesn't matter. I mean it's not gonna hurt you at all. Okay. It is, if you do enough of these, it's also a subtle reminder if I do something weird, like I put an X on this, I'm like, wait a second, something bad happened here. Yeah, okay. That makes sense? Yeah. All right, good to go. All right, so, two minutes, crud. All right, you guys have, let's have you do one and two. A reminder on number one. I am missing the number without an X, right? So what are you going to put at the very end? Plus zero, right? So you're going to do one and two problem work, and it's going to be a beautiful thing. That means you just do two problems to do.